It's Juan Crucier calling for Shaggy. Hey, what is up, Juan? This is Shaggy. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Not bad at all. How about yourself, man? Doing good. Doing good, you know? Just, uh, you know, enjoying the, uh, the hot... California summer. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Man, first off, I, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for doing this interview. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. That's where you are right now, California? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're out of L.A. Right on, man. I mean, it's a little cooler down here in Idaho, so uh, you can look forward to that coming up at the Rock Fest. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, we're all really excited about it, and I can't wait. Can't wait. I mean, this is one of the biggest concerts that at least we put on here in Idaho Falls, and we could not be more excited about it. How did you guys get involved with the Rock Fest? You know, it's it's we we did a few of them. I don't, you know, I'm not sure if they're all interconnected, mm-hmm. but we did Rock Fest Kansas City, and one other one last year, and I think it was up in uh, Wisconsin. I think it was, okay. and so you know, we we just kind of. You know, try to get out there as much as we can. You know, the the band has a sort of a new setup, and so you know, we we basically we lost the front end of the year, yeah. but we're trying to kind of make up for it here and and sort of get in as many shows this year as we can. So the, it kind of came up on our radar, and uh, you know, we love doing events like this. Now you mentioned that you guys went through a recent lineup change, and I know that you guys kind of revealed your latest lineup at the beginning of the month at a show you did. Why did you and Steven decide to kind of keep the lineup a bit of a secret up until that show? You know, it, we both sort of agreed that um, in this day and age of, uh, you know, social media, and, and there's a lot of people out there with with uh, five-pound opinions, mm-hmm. we kind of figured that it would be best if we just walked up on stage and showed them who the lineup was, you know? Yeah. There's been a lot of speculation about a lot of things, and many of which are very inaccurate. And so we just didn't want to feed more into sort of the the hands of folks that have opinions, yeah. you know, already established. So the group has been through a lot in recent years, some of which is not you know, exactly flattering. Of course. And we're out to sort of change that and give it a level of class. You know, look, some things with rock bands are better left unsaid. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times when dirty laundry gets aired, nobody wins that. Exactly. You know, and that's kind of where we're coming from. We're a rock band. We want to get out there and deliver for the fans and have a great time. And we're, we're kind of like the kind of guys that... You know, we realize life is tough enough for folks out there, you know? And so if we can give them an hour, hour and a half, what have you, of a good time where they can kind of forget about the bills at home or what have you, work, then we're happy to to do it. You know, that's that's what we're about. Well, and thanks for doing it, man. So, I mean, basically what you're saying is instead of having, you know, the trolls and the haters go out and write articles about like, oh, you know, he won't be a good new guitarist, then you're like, you know what, instead of telling you, we're just going to show you the new lineup and see how rocking it is yourself. Precisely, precisely. And, you know, we went through a pretty intense audition process Mm -hmm. And we were very meticulous, and then we rehearsed really, really hard to make sure that everything was true to form. And we played a, a Kansas Star Casino, and it was really, really good. And then we played in Costa Mesa here in California about a week ago, and that was just terrific. So, you know, the, the band is really, really honoring the level of musicianship and quality that Rad has always tried to maintain. Of course. And so I think that, you know, the response it has been positive. Good. That's wonderful, man. So just to be clear, this brand new lineup, it's you, Steven, of course, uh, Jordan Ziff, Chris Sanders, and Pete Holmes. Exactly. Yes. And I have to say, I've watched some internet videos, you know, at the casino in Kansas City, and you guys sound great. I mean, I think you guys sound great as ever with this lineup. Well, thank you. You know, look, being in a band is a hard thing. Uh, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's really no different than, imagine working with your same co-workers 35 years ago. You're probably not even that old. Good call on that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's not easy. People change. Uh, people's, you know, objectives and agendas change. And all Stephen and I are trying to do is keep the group moving forward mm-hmm. in a positive way and, and give the, the Rat fans what they love and what we love as well. So, you know, there's really no, 
nothing really other than that. You know, it's not easy keeping a band going. There, oh, no. There's a lot of uh, twists and turns. And, you know, it, it's hard sometimes to roll with the punches. And frankly, you know, sometimes people decide, hey, look, you know, I want to get off the ride. Yeah. You know, so we're just dealing with it the best way we can and really looking at it in a positive way and trying to just do, you know, what, what would be expected. Well, good. I, I love it, man. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you guys are kind of on a tight schedule. But uh, last question for you. Sure. You know, other than being in Rat, then you've been a bass player for bands like Quiet Riot and Dawkin. And I don't know if you know this or not, but Dawkin is actually going to be sharing the stage with you at Rockfest on August 24th. Is that going to be weird, or are you guys kind of past that? Oh, no, no, no. No, I really like all the guys in Dawkin, and we've never had issues. Don and I go back to, you know, the years when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. You know, we originally started in a three-piece band, and and then brought Mick and George on board, and eventually, you know, Breaking the Chains came out in the United States. Great album. So we were actually touring in Europe very early on in the late 70s. So uh, I have nothing but affinity for Don and Mick and, and, and all the guys in Doc and George. In fact, we just played with Lynch Mob last week. So no, no weirdness at all. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the show. I think it's going to be really positive, a lot of fun. Yeah. And, you know, it's summertime. That's what it's all about, right? Exactly. You know it, man. So you get to hang out with some old buddies and uh, kick back, have a good time, play some rock and roll. That's it. That's it. And that's what it's about, you know? We all know that life life can be tough enough, you know? Going to a rock show should be a release and the fun and, you know, uh, just sort of a nice getaway. That's what I'm saying, too. So I lied to you. I have one more quick question. No problem. And I'm sure you get asked this all the time. Playing bass in Quiet Riot for a short time, you were actually in the band when Randy Rhodes was in there, too. Yes, yes. How was it playing with Randy? He was absolutely terrific. He was a musician's musician. You know, we played all the songs. I was with him for about three months, mm -hmm. and they were going through sort of a transition. It was right before Randy officially joined Ozzy, and we were playing up in Burbank, and some of the jams that we would have in between songs were just absolutely amazing. Randy Rhodes was not just a great lead guitar player, but he was an amazing rhythm guitar player. Mm -hmm. And we remain really, really good friends. In fact, I taught at his mom's school, Musonia. Oh, really? Yeah. I taught there for about uh, roughly around six months. So, you know, he really came from a great musical background. His mother was obviously uh, a musician, mm -hmm. a great pianist. So, you know, music was in his, in his life. And, you know, Randy really carried the torch for Quiet Riot in the sense that um, that was his baby. And, you know, it was very unfortunate what happened, yeah. of course. And, uh, but I have nothing but the highest memories, uh, most positive memories for Randy and a really great, one of the nicest guys you could ever meet. I hear that a lot. Very unassuming. Well, yeah, thanks for sharing that with me. He's uh, my personal favorite guitarist of all time. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. He, you know, the guy could just... Yeah, he could just play, you know, anything from metal to classical at the drop of a hat. He was just really, really well-rounded and uh, and just a really nice person. So, you know, he's he's. De I can see why his legacy has has sort of um, lasted so long. Mm -hmm. You know, besides the obvious work with Ozzy, you know, if you're a guitar player, a musician, and you really kind of look at what the guy did over the years, you, you really know that he was special. And let me just add one last thing. Of course. Back in those days, there were hundreds, if not thousands, of bands that were trying to make it out of L.A. You know, they were all trying to get that elusive record deal. Yeah. And there were really three guys that really stood out. You know, one of them was obviously Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. The Another one was obviously, well, to me, obviously, George Lynch. Oh, yeah, great guitarist. Oh, yeah, terrific guitar player. And still... A monster player, no doubt about it. And there was Randy Rhodes as well, you know. And don't get me wrong, there were a lot of other terrific guitar players and amazing musicians and great bands. But those three guys really stood out among the pack. So it was a very interesting blend of musical, I don't know what you want to call it, you know, it was just a really, really healthy, robust musical scene with lots of bands coming and going and and to stand out in, in that type of environment really takes something special yeah it really shows something about you yeah and that's the group that randy was in really so you know he was just 
the best. I love it. Once again, I mean, thank you so much, Juan, for sharing that with me, and thanks for doing this interview. My pleasure. Rat will be at the Idaho Rock Fest on August 24th. It's Juan Crouchier interviewing for The Rock. Thank you so much, my man. I appreciate it. My pleasure. We'll see you guys there. Come on down. We're going to have a great time. And you can find us at theratpack.com. Okay, hear that, everybody? Ratpack.com. Two T's. Correct. All right. Once again, Juan, thank you so much. And uh, you have a great day. We'll catch you on the 24th, all right? Okay, we'll see you then, Shaggy. Hey, thanks so much, man. Okay, you got it. Bye-bye. Bye.